By now we've all heard the news, Matt Kenseth will be returning to the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series this season, only as a part-time driver though. The only reason he didn't secure a ride for the 2018 season was mostly due to his age. With all these young guns coming into the sport, Joe Gibbs wanted to move on and sign Eric Jones to a long-term deal with the 20 ride, leaving Kenseth jobless. I wonder what team he signed with. Hopefully it's a very competitive team, of course. Wait a minute, you mean to tell me he signed with Roush Racing? <laughs> oh my gosh, he is so done. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say done, but don't expect any miracles this season. I mean, there is one thing we can expect though. We can expect him not to wreck the car every single week. You can also expect this team's average finish to go up. Through the first nine races of the season, Trevor Bain has an average finish of 24th. No, but seriously, how is this one hit wonder still holding a Cup Series ride? It makes absolutely no sense. Besides his upset win in the Daytona 500 and only two career Xfinity Series wins, what else has Trevor Bain done to keep a Cup Series ride? He has done little, very little. Look at this crap. You have one job as a lap car and that is to get out of the leader's way. And you can't even do that right. And you end up causing a huge wreck, taking out the leader. Wow. I said after this wreck that Trevor Bain should be fired from Roush Racing. Thank goodness he is finally getting demoted to a part-time role. Don't think I didn't forget about you, Jack. What the hell is wrong with you? You have literally turned your team into the Cleveland Browns of NASCAR. You had a dynasty in the 90s and the early 2000s, only to turn into complete and utter shit a decade later. Some of your decisions has left me scratching my head over the years. You had a champion in Chris Busher who won you a championship in the Xfinity Series in 2015 and you don't offer him a cup ride, you still keep Trevor Bain in the six car? That makes absolutely no sense either. So let's get back to Kenseth now. What are my expectations for him this season? Well, don't expect him to win anytime soon and certainly don't expect him to run inside the top 10 every time he races. And no, that is not knocking on Matt Kenseth's driving ability at all. The one thing you have to remember is, this is not the old Roush Racing, this is the new Roush Racing and it is going to take an extremely long time to get this team back inside the top 10 every week. But the decision to have Matt Kenseth back in the fold of things helps. I think you do need to re-sign him after the 2018 season to a full-time ride. There's already speculations that him and Stenhouse will be teaming up and switching rides, Kenseth to his old 17 and Stenhouse to the 6, the same number he won his Nationwide Series titles with back in 2011 and 2012. Still, I think it's great to have Matt Kenseth back in the Cup Series. So his first race of the season will be at the Kansas Motor Speedway. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.